Keep your eye on Braden Smith for that. He should be really good. I saw Braden bring his own he shoes. His own shoes. So he's yeah. serious about it. Braden brought his own shoes. Yeah, don't bet on my team. I'm, uh, I'm a gutter ball guy. That's where I live. Let's just say not all pro bowlers look like pro bowlers tonight because there is no rest here in the offseason in Indy with the NFL draft just days away. Voluntary workouts underway at the Colts complex and the horseshoe. They hit the lanes tonight for a great cause. Now the Colts invaded Woodland Bowl for the inaugural Courage to Compete bowling competition, raising $220,000 supporting the Rice Not Today Foundation, which of course aims to end the sexual abuse, exploitation and trafficking of children. Now our very own Anthony Calhoun was on the mic serving as the MC this evening, plus plenty of other big names who were in the house supporting their head coach. It was three Colts that were named bowling captains tonight. Jonathan Taylor, Quentin Nelson, and DeForest Buckner, they all teamed up to back their head coach's mission. Just being able to see Frank and Linda attack this, you know, at the forefront and also just being, having my own children, you know what I mean? I'm just thinking, my wife and I were just thinking like, you know, what if this happened to our children, you know what I mean? How devastated we would be. Athletes have this platform and it's really the first step of having that courage to be able to use that platform to be able to speak out, raise awareness on things that are for the better good, things that need to happen. The awareness is so important because it's so hard to talk about and to bring up. But then once that subject is open, we're just finding more and more people saying, hey, what can we do? How can we help? Tonight, really, we're focusing on education for children. We find children go to two places all the time. They go to school and they go to their health care provider. And we really want to have prevention education in every single school in Indiana so that children have an opportunity to hear this is not normalized.